We've got to defend you. We're gonna, I think, have our first attack here. Monsieur, vos ordres? And that, my friends, is the first battle we're going to have here with Napoleon taking on Mikhail Kutsov here. Movement here. Let's do some sabotage. We can infiltrate. We, can, we can't. We can't sabotage. Yeah, we can. <coughs> here in sort of Italy here where we have Torino. Milan has fallen to the Austrians here, but it did cost them dear, but they have got a fine general here, as you can see, already moving in here. We're not sure who he is, but we have a spy potentially moving in to, to see no. what's going on there as soon as possible. Now, also the count. Greetings and welcome to episode 3 of my Napoleonic Total War 3 France campaign and this my friends I left the last time we have our first battle here and no less than Napoleon my friends is the general is the emperor should I say that's leading this battle now we have some wonderful wonderful advice as always from the council so wonderful advice it really has been exemplary and we shall get that advice but the first thing we must do here is absolutely give the russians here a sound thrashing because they have come and as you can just see here fluttering just here in the corner here is a substantial austrian army now many of the council have called for us not to take a step back here not to take us if we <coughs> if and when we beat the russians if we don't take a step back we actually stay here maybe maybe just pull back into the forest and then use the armies we have here of Ney to sort of pull back and, res and add some, or bring in another army to as a, res as a reserve, or even some move some more forces into Napoleon's army. Now, of course, they will replenish because we are in our own territory here. As you can see, we have Stuttgart here with a sizable garrison, as you can see here uh, to the north. And we have also just got to be here. That's Essen there, so we've got to be really here. As you can see, Hessen Castle, Castle here. Cassell, we have to be really, really careful because they've got a very powerful force here. There is absolutely every possibility they can launch an attack against us here. We've got a lot on our plate, as it were, here. So we have to be very, very careful. Some even suggest we might even hand over, hand over Hanover to perhaps maybe the Danish, something like that, to keep you know, keep Sweden on its toes and then pull that force back into sort of the into France proper, as it were, abandon Hanover. And then move it and move that force in into France proper, so to effectively come back to here, and that would give us additional troops. Now that's something we might do if we are going to be attacked by the uh, Cassels here. We might just do that because this is just sort of just in the distance here. It's not really doing anything for us. Now I know we would lose the income from that. However, we would gain an army immediately within this sector here, and we are up against it. That's not been under illusions, but we are not going to back down, my friends. I can assure you. We are not going to back, especially with Bonaparte here, and the morale of this army is sky high. For example, the Grenadiers of Cheval, look at the morale, 111. That is staggering. So it is 
this army is in a pretty much an elite army. We've got a balloonist here as well, which I'm not quite sure what that means. I'll be absolutely honest with you. I'm not sure what the balloonist does. It give us additional range <coughs> of vision, which it might well do. It might give us we might be able to see more of the army than we normally would be, the enemy army than we normally would be. <coughs> as you can see, we deploy second here. Oh, there it is. Allows him to see the enemy deployment first. Ah, right. This one has a balloon bonus, which allows him to see the enemy deployment first, so we can actually see where the enemy deploys, which is a wonder. So now we can, and therefore we can adjust our tactics, our our own deployment, to counter theirs. And we also have to be careful. I know many of the councils are saying that be careful what you're doing. Some of the accuracy here of these forces isn't going to be the finest, and also it's going to be a lot different to other campaigns. The cavalry is going to be very, very important to us. We were going to get an additional cannon in, but we weren't able to in time. But look at this here. This cannon here does look exceptional. Accurate and capable of firing over breathtaking distances. So we could get a wonderful barrage going here as well. It's got the gold star here, which I'm assuming gives it a little bit of extra panache. A little bit of a land, as it were. Let, anyway, my friends, enough talking. Let us begin our very first battle here against Russia. As you could just see there on the offset there, my friends. That huge Austrian force there. But look at this. So we, we are attacking. We're not going to allow them. We are not going to allow them to marry meander. Look at this, though. Is this... I believe this could be some kind of outcrow. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we see where they are. Look at that. Thank you, balloonist. We see them now. Here is just a small token of what we can see of their forces here. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. What a wonder. We're just seeing a small amount of their forces here. Not all of them. Oh, mus oh, musketeers, that is absolutely fantastic, I must say. And there he is there. Mikhail Kutuzov. Kutuzov. If we could... And there is, the council actually did say, if we dis if we kill this general, he will remain dead. So, oh, look at that. i got to say, it really is a magnificent sight, some of these troops. Now, let's have a look at the French troops here, in some detail here. Look at these first grenadiers. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that. If that doesn't bring joy to your hearts, my friends, nothing will. Look at that. What a magnificent looking regiment. Oh, my word. Some of these regiments are exceptional. Oh, good God. Oh, oh, oh. Now, look at those magnificent beards, sir. Now, that is a wonderful selection of beards. And we've got the chasseurs. Oh, these are wonder. And then we've got the infantry here. Some of the, we've got veterans. These are veterans. These have been through a few battles with Napoleon. For more veterans here. No, that's our, that's our other regiments, with which we brought. We brought two additional regiments in here. I'm not sure if there's any difference between the, vet, the veterans and these gentlemen here. I'm not sure, but my goodness me, what a wonderful sight this is. They really have done exceptional with this this campaign it really is a wonder to see we've got then on the flank here look at that that is absolutely incredible that is the light infantry regiment here now this gets better and better this just gets better and better look at the grenadiers of cheval now look at that these are heavy heavy cavalry here and you can only get one this is the only one this is the only regiment of grenadiers of cheval you can get France, and then we have the Mamelukes, which do, with no chasse cheval de guard. Look at that! My goodness me, this is absolutely incredible. These should be Mamelukes. Here they are. They're, they're the Mamelukes. Oh, that is wonderful. It really is. And then the absolute apogee, the main man himself, the, the emperor, the general. There he is, Napoleon. Oh, goodness me. Look at these gentlemen. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that 12 pounder. And look at the regiment around it. Even the insignias. Oh, my goodness me. They've done a wonderful job here with this mod. It is absolutely exquisite. <clears throat> look at that. Even the barrel has the reflections on it. That is exquisite. My goodness me. Bravo, sir. Bravo. Now. Because we've got the balloonists, we can see where they are going to be hitting. We can get that general, my goodness me. Now, cavalry is going to be vitally important here. 
We can see the topography here. Look at that. Look how far we can actually go up here into the sky. There's the balloonist. There is the balloonist. Well, I'll be. Would you look at that? Well, well, well. Now, what do we have here? We've got Rani, of course. She's got Rani here for Napoleon, but he's going to give huge bonuses to morale. Absolutely huge. And look at look at his, the circumference here of his sort of influence area. We could even move him probably back to here, and he would still have even back to here, and he still have some kind of influence over these regiments here. So we're going to, he's going to be moving back and forth here. We have to keep Napoleon alive for as long as we possibly can, for for all we can, to be honest with, not as long as we can. Now, do we hit a particular flank? They've got here, they've got this small hamlet here. But on this side here, there's a bit more open ground for us. And we've also got these trees here as well. The topography does suit us in some ways, but if you look at the hills here, these sort of ravines. Now, we're going to put the, this regiment here. They're hidden as well. That's exactly what we want. But we like to ambush. We do have these... We do have these gentlemen here, we'd like to ambush if possible, that would be... <clears throat> maybe move them into the trees here to ambush, that would be exceptional. What have they got available? We have to be careful with these, we've got to preserve as many of these troops as we possibly can here. I think we'll have the Lagarde as well, we're going to hit... We'll hit pretty hard on the one flank with the, with the cavalry. Put them in here as well. And they're hidden as well, as you can see, look at that. Exactly what we need. We need to surprise them. We need to bring, we need to bring this Russian army down with full force. I think we have the Mamluks out on the flank here. We're we'll just moving to pull in here for the meantime, so we can just deploy here. But we are attacking, so we've got to be able to attack on the. Vickers, if we move the attack here, look, this ground is going to break up our advance. It really is. I'd like to try and get that cannon re-firing as soon as possible here. I don't believe the cannon will go up here. No, it won't. Now, imagine having the cannon up there, just firing right over. That would be fantastic. But no, that's just going to be silly. So, we've got the cannon slap bang in the middle here. We've got three cannons here. That's just a magnificent sight. It really is. It really is. We might move them up to the front if needs be, but I'd like to try and get some firepower going down on them immediately. And we might have to have some defensive forces here as well, so move some defensive We need to attack quite, quite aggressively here. Got the Grenadiers here. We might just shift our our attack, our advance this way here, as you can see. There's more flat ground here. Grenadiers here. And I think the chasseurs as well here. We move with them. We will be advancing. We're not going to be idle here at all. Cannon. We move the cannon back over here. We'll just angle it slightly here. We probably need some defences just in case they do march up on us. They probably will might march up on us here. We we'll probably have the two foot regiments, the defensive formations. I know that some of the council are probably absolutely throwing things now at the, the screen, saying, "Man, we must move all your forces out here." But if we need to, we will move, we'll move these gentlemen out. Just want to make sure that these are protected here. But we are going to move out against them, the Russians. We're not going to be standing idly by. Here. We've got the war veterans. We just gotta take the fight to them. We've got the sappers as well, so we've got these two regiments here. We will take we will take one regiment with us of sappers. Oh look at that. Are they gonna deploy defences? I wonder if we deploy it. If we deploy here. Stakes here. They have 
got any at all, we sat on the roof, was it? Or even some mines. Now, wouldn't that be a treat? We'll put the mines there. Probably best to have the horse here just to guard the artillery. Because these gentlemen will move out, but we can have that here to guard the artillery. We've got some more. We actually, I wonder if we move. Have these gentlemen here? They're hidden in the forest. We might even move these out on, a, on the flank here and sort of ambush the Russians. We've got then hold them here. can't hide Napoleon, they will definitely target Napoleon without a shadow of a doubt, so we've got to be careful what we're doing here, but we'll leave, we'll leave them here, but they will be moving out as well, we've got to take the fight to the Russians here, we'll try and outflank them if we can, and we've got the Mamluks here as well, so we'll just put the Mamluks here, gentlemen, and try and cut through here and try and outflank the Russians wherever we can, but this is going to be an absolute wonderful fight. Now, now, this might not go our way here, so I've just got to be very, very vigilant here. I know if we can't run very far with our... Would you look at that? going to run. I know that running is not going to be suiting us. Okay, there's not all they can reach. Looks like they'll be moving up with the army. Oh no, they're firing now. They're firing. There, there's the range there. Oh, what a shot! Limber up. Let's move out. If, if, if they're hit by the artillery, that's going to just absolutely cause havoc. bunched up there.
on the moat. That's drawn the moat. Drawn out the cavalry, at least we might be able to flank them. Look at that, that's protected us beautifully there. Lost ten, almost ten men here. There we have it, there we have it. Men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. We have 
killed their general, sir. Now they must break. Wonderful sight of those Lamarus to those wonderful jobs, sir. Running, sir!
Get out the loo. Get out the loo. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Thank you. 
Bien reçu Ordre bien reçu Just gotta keep tracing them down, we just have to keep chasing. Ordre bien reçu The more we can kill, the better it'll be for us. And our cavalry is pretty much exhausted, so we're gonna be careful here. Excuse any noise in the background, my friends, you can probably imagine from that might be. Someone has now decided to wake up and indeed wants full attention. Oh, they've gone. They've made, they've made it to the demarcation line. That's a what a fight that was. What a fight, my friend. That was a wonder. Made it, they managed to withdraw. We chased them all the way. That was just phenomenal. What a battle that was that. Each battle is going to absolutely be critical. But we've got to get these troops up to full strength. Yes! So no point in continuing because we had actually. They had withdrawn, but look at Nous that. Nous sommes et invaincus! Oh, but they lost 1,000. Look at that. We absolutely obliterated that force. My goodness me, that was an absolute wonder. <coughs> excuse any noise in my back. As you can probably tell, my friends, you can excuse the, 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 the noise in the background. Now, the Swiss have brought in, my goodness me, right. Got that. Now, that's a that's a pretty powerful force right there. <coughs> we don't really want to move against that. I beg your my pardon a second, my friends. Sorry about that, my friends. Now, I... As you can see, we've got the spy here, we're trying to interfere with this here, but we've absolutely decimated this Russian army, that's a real good... Oui, monsieur. We can pull back here, now we're going to leave it to the council to decide what we should do here, and we've got... Oui? Ney here, we've got 1,310, only 2, 3, 6, 7, but be careful we don't over-push ourselves here in terms of what we're doing. That's going to take five turns here, and this, and this whole area is going to be swarming here with Austrians eventually. And we've got this army here. Devoe. So look at that. The Braves. The Teddy Bull. Oh, look at that. Netherlands. Infantaria. So we could even move some forces into here. Hey. Mind you, we've got Hessen here. Why have they moved? Why have they moved that force in here? They've got a massive force there, but this this army really would be of a huge benefit to us. That army there could do huge amounts of damage. Now We've got Hazards, we've got six pounder, six pounder as well in here. We've got supply warehouse. But again, I'm gonna leave that up to the council what we do here. We've got Mecklenburg. That's a that's a staggering army. Now we're rather isolated here. We I know the let's look at Denmark. Who are Denmark at war with? Absolutely no one at all. They've even got trade with Sweden. We are at war with Sweden. We could give that as a peace offer into Sweden <coughs> and pull this army down into he either into Stuttgart or into Strasbourg. I know some of the council might balk at the idea of actually giving up Hanover, but look at this isolated here. We these forces could actually be pivotal to us. I know that some of the council really wanted us to push much, much more aggressively and take uh, Munich, and we wouldn't have probably. F but we that's a even though that's still malicious and they're not really pulling in great numbers skirmishers it's not really an elite army this we could probably deal with this army we can move some of these forces here and move them into Napoleon's army now they are going to replenish quite slowly so we're going to leave it to the council we could even put, push the Vaux uh, nay I beg your pardon into the into the region as a backup army here Pretty confident this army here could probably do some serious damage to this Austrian army here, but as you can see, they've got a tremendous amount of artillery. That is just stupendous. Most of their art, actually, most of their army is artillery. That is going to be a brute to face, especially with only two regiments of cavalry. We've got the gentlemen here as well, so we might have to invest in some more cavalry. We do have some additional troops being moved into here, so we might have to confront the. Austrians eventually, but I wouldn't. I'd love to crack this army here because that would open up Munich to us and even Innsbruck as well. Because most of the forces from Innsbruck 
have actually moved here. So this is the force they've gathered of all their strength. If we could break this army here, Munich would be left open to us. I know that some of the council are also saying that there's a good, very, very strong chance that the British are going to attack us. We've got some additional grassiers moving in here. Luckily we've opened up some of this trade route as well here, as you can see, but that's obviously been closed here. But we can get a trading company and up upgrade that there, that'd be fantastic, it really would. We've got maximum port facilities or I mean and as the council also said, we can't really rely on the, the Spanish to aid us in our fight against the British. That's just not gonna happen. We've got to be able to stand on our own two feet as it were. We've got Plenty coming in and out of here. We did lose that down here to the Austrians. It did assault us here. But we've got nothing going in here because, of course, we've got this base being blocked here. The trade is going in here, thankfully. But, of course, we're being hit all along the line here, and especially with the Dutch. And oh, who are the Dutch? They're at war with Austria and Britain and Sweden as well, the same as us. So, are they going to aid us though? That's the that's the point. We really are stretched. I don't know about Hanover. I'd like to get the council's opinion and your honest opinions, please, my friends, and be absolutely upfront and as you always are. And upfront here, what do we do with Hanover? Because this force here could actually be the difference between because we could add this force perhaps to Ney's force as you can see here that would give us a sizable armor we could probably break the Austrians uh, it would that this force would probably move to Stuttgart because it's probably the closest it might even a help us against the Hessens if they uh, the cat if they did decide the Cassels to move against us here so Again, there's a lot to consider, but I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I know it's a little bit shorter than normal. I do apologise that, my friends. <clears throat> I do apologise for the l the length of time it's taken to get an episode out, but unfortunately, um, things with work have been incredibly busy of, of late. It really, really has been inc incredibly busy. So I haven't, haven't had the chance to get an episode out. I do apologise for that. Um, this will probably be the last in this particular run of this, of this campaign thus far. It will be coming back, but I'll probably be doing an, um, either a... Nation's Guide, or it'll be the Knights of St. John next, and then after that, I'll probably Great Britain and maybe um, the USA, or I might even do an Ottoman Empire campaign after that as well. And then we'll come back to that after one of those is finished. So we, it's not going to be too long to wait in terms of what how long we normally do for, to reach for each campaign. But I really want to get I want to really want to get the council's sense here. I know the council has been some wonderful, wonderful advice, but I'd like to try and get your advice on Hanover. Hanover really is. The, the thing that's really sort of holding us back in terms of what we should do. Do we hold on to it? Do we actually dig in Hanover or do we sort of maybe give it to uh, or hand it over to or, or even try to sell it or move it on to a nation that would benefit from it? If you understand what I mean. So maybe an ally of ours or someone we can maybe turn into an ally of ours with Hanover. So we give Hanover and we get an alliance with them. Maybe something out of it. So let me know what you think, my friends, but if we can break this Austrian army here, I do believe we could probably take Munich with whatever whatever armies we've got in here. Because I know that with Napoleon, I mean, the morale of these forces is just, it just didn't move. You were absolutely, the council said, Mala, you've got, your, your morale will not move. And it, you were right, with, with Napoleon behind the bulk of the army, the morale was rock solid. But I would love to try and get another army into this region here to try and help Napoleon to really just break the back of these forces here because we do need to do that but anyway as as always my friends thank you all for your wonderful wonderful advice it's been absolutely incredible the battle was fantastic i absolutely uh, absolutely love that battle thank you all for your wonderful advice as always hand over my friends please let me know what we should do with it let me know what we should do with a, a napoleon do we do we retreat and sort of replenish or do we stay where we are and bring another force in let me know, my friends. But anyway, until next time, my friends, once again, thank you for all of your wonderful support and advice and for your very, very kind words as well. It really does mean a lot. Whatever you're doing, please be safe. But until next time, bye for now.